Hi, my name is Joel Abrahamson, and I'll be doing nutrients and nutrition. There are six food groups. Grains, they contain carbs and give you energy. Grains are also a source of fiber and nutrients. Some examples of grains are bread, pasta and rice. Vegetables, vegetables are foods like corn, carrots and spinach. They keep you healthy. They also contain vitamins and minerals and are an important source of fiber. Fruits. Fruits are foods like apples, pears and grapes. Fruits fight off infections and contain vitamins and fiber. Fats and oils. Some oils are canola, corn and olive oil. Oils are fats. Oils can come from many different plants. From fish, they provide nutrients. Dairy. The milk group includes milk, yogurt, and cheese. They contain protein and calcium. They help grow strong bones and healthy teeth. Meat and legumes. They include hamburgers, eggs, and fish. They are full of protein and help have strong muscles. Grains. They are a source of fiber and nutrients. They are bread, pasta, rice, cereal, etc. Vegetables that keep you healthy contains vitamins and minerals, an important source of fiber. Fruits. Fruits fight off infections and ca and contains vitamins and fiber. Fats and oils. Oils are fats. Oils come from many different plants and from fish they provide nutrients. Dairy contains protein and calcium help grow strong bones and healthy teeth. Meat and legumes they are full of protein and have help you have strong muscles. There are four nutrient groups proteins, fats and oils, carbs and vitamins and minerals. Proteins Foods made from meat, poultry, seafood are considered parts of proteins. They help us to grow, build and repair muscles. Fats and oils. Vegetable oil do not contain cholesterol. Solid, solid fats are like butter. Many vegetable oils go through a process called hydroxination. They carry out the fat syllable vitamins A, D, E and K. Carbs. Carbohydrates supply us with energy. They are the starches and sugars in foods. Vitamins and minerals. Vitamins help us fight disease by maintaining healthy immune systems. Minerals are an important part of a healthy diet. They maintain a strong and healthy body and prevent disease. Minerals are needed for strong bones and teeth. Proteins. Foods made of meat, poultry, seafood are considered parts of proteins. They help us to grow, build and repair muscles and provide us with energy and in the absence of carbohydrates. Fats and oils. Vegetable oil do not contain cholesterol. Solid fats are like butter. Many vegetable oils go through a pr process called hydroxination. They carry out a fat syllable, vitamins A, D, E and K. The fat under our skin can keeps us warm and can give us energy in the absence of carbohydrates. Carbs. Carbs supply us with energy. They are the starches and sugars found in food. Vitamins and minerals. Vitamins help us fight disease by maintaining a healthy immune system. Minerals are an important part of a diet, healthy diet. They maintain a strong and healthy body and prevent disease. Minerals are needed for strong bones and teeth. We need food to carry out the seven life processes. The food we eat comes from plants and animals. Nutrients is a chemical substance that our body, need, body needs. Foods can be grouped according to the functions they perform. Fats and oils, carbs, protein, vitamins and minerals. Protein. They help us to grow, 
It builds and repairs muscles in our bodies. There are two types of proteins, animal proteins and vegetable proteins. Protein is the body's building blocks and provides us with energy. Examples of proteins are meat, chicken, and some dairy products, milk and eggs. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are very important because they give us long-lasting energy. They are the starches and sugars found in food. Examples of carbohydrates are potatoes, corn and fruits. Fats and oils. Fats provide us with fatty acids and also carry the fat syllable A, D, E and K. Fats protect our, protect our nerves and internal organs. Fats are stored around the kidney. Fats keep us warm and give us energy. For exa examples of fats are oil, butter and nuts. Vitamins. Vitamins help us fight disease by keeping a healthy immune system. Two ways in which you can get vitamins. Taking vitamins or eating food rich in vitamins. There are eight types of vit vitamins. A, which is good for your eyes and skin and growth. Vitamin B1 helps us to release energy and assist with growth. B2 keeps eyes, mouth and tongue healthy and make sure that the rate that the food is used in our body is correct. B12 help produce red blood cells and is needed for healthy nerves. C helps bones, connective tissue, teeth and blood and also strengthens the immune system. D helps with the absorption of minerals calcium and phosphorus which are required for strong bones and teeth e needed for needed to keep muscles and nerves healthy k helps blood clot so that a wound stops bleeding minerals minerals are needed for strong bones and teeth there are varieties of different minerals here are the main ones Calcium, needed for bones and teeth, as well as for nerves and muscles. Iron, needed for healthy blood cells in order to produce hemoglobin, which carries oxygen to the cells. Zinc, needed for various body functions and the immune system, as well as to, as well as to help the body to grow and develop properly. Sodium needed to balance the water in our bodies as well as for nerves and muscles. Magnesium helps us helps the nervous and muscular system and also regulates blood sugar. Processed foods natural and processed foods processed food food that has been changed in some way natural foods food that looks the way it was when it was harvested. Addi additives. Substance that are added to food during processing. Colorant. A chemical that makes food look tastier or more attractive. Flavoring. A chemical that makes food taste better. Preservative. A chemical that helps food stay fresh longer. Allergen. A substance that causes allergic reaction. Consumer. A person that buys goods from a shop to use. Estimate. A guess or approximate value. Food processing methods. Here are some few processing methods. Sun drying, fermenting, pickling, salting and spicing, adding sugar, pasteurization, cooking, toasting, freezing, freeze drying, spray drying, making juice concentrates. There are five things you must do before any methods. Hygiene is a very easy for germs and bacteria to start growing on food. Energy efficient. The extremely high cost of energy sources such as electricity, oil or diesel makes it vital that food production uses the smallest amount of energy you bet the job done you 
to be to get the job done safely. Minimal wastage manufacturers make every effort to cut down as much as possible on any on any and all waste labor. Manufacturers try to cut down the amount of people that handle any given food product product because that increases the cost of the company. Minimal factory shut shutdowns. Each time the factory or operation gets shut down to clean it, the factory is not making money. Food performs a number of very important functions. It gives us energy, it helps us to grow, it helps us to keep warm, it builds and repairs our tissues, it pr products us from illness and disease protects us from illness and disease. It helps us to recover when we get sick. Healthy diet contains sufficient quantities of all the four nutrient groups. Eating one eating one or two types of foods is unhealthy and means our bodies are not getting the nutrients required. Diet related conditions and diseases. Obesity is a medical condition in which too much body fat increases a negative effect on health. A person whose weight is 20% more than the recommended weight for their gender, age, height is said to be obese. Anorexia nervosa is this is an eating disorder when a person gets too gets eats too little. Anorexics deny themselves food despite being hungry. Their bodies cannot function correctly as they are deprived of nutrients. Diabetes. Diabetes is caused by high blood sugar. Some people are born with diabetes, which is type 1, and some people get it later, type 2. Also an unhealthy diet where too much carbohydrates, especially refined carbs like bread, cake and biscuits. Tooth decay. Tooth decay occurs when bacteria in the mouth produce acids. Tooth decay causes pain and infections. Tooth decay feeds on sugars. The more sweet foods eaten, the more risk the more risk of tooth decay. You can avoid tooth decay by brushing and flossing your teeth regularly. Rickets are still found in children and babies in Africa. It is caused by lack of vitamin D, magnesium and calcium. You can prevent rickets by eating eggs, milk, fish, etc. Constipation. Constipation is a condition when a person has a bowel movement less than three times a week. It 
When your stools are dry, hard is more hard to pass. It is caused by not enough fiber, a diet with too much cheese, milk and eggs, and lack of water causes constipation. You can avoid constipation by eating fruits, vegetables and legumes. Tips on a healthy diet. Choose fresh foods. Providing our bodies with vitamins and minerals, veggies and fruits. Eat dark green vegetables at least three times a week. Drink lots of water. Cut down on junk food. Eat the rainbow. Eat lean meat. Eat fish and chicken more often than red meat. Eat a diet high in fiber. Eat healthy snacks. Sit down when you eat and chew. Thank you, Joel Abrahams.